since manga and light novels are so heavily focused on dialogue, it should be no surprise that the dialogue in your stories will be one of the most important aspects to creating it. In today's video, I want to talk about how you can instantly improve the dialogue writing in your mangas, comics, or light novels and make it stand out and be interesting to your audience. My first tip is ensure that every sentence advances the story. Never have filler. One of the best ways to improve dialogue writing is to ensure that every part of the dialogue makes sense in the overall story. When you're having your characters talking, ensure that you avoid filler in the conversations and focus instead on the most important parts of the conversation. When you focus on what matters most when you're having your characters speaking, it's going to make all of their dialogue a lot more interesting because everything they say means something in the main context of the story. And so when your characters are talking, your readers will be more likely to want to listen. My second tip is that if pacing feels slow, describe or show what is happening without the dialogue. Now, I know this isn't a dialogue tip in a dialogue video, however, I think it's important to understand that dialogue should be used sparingly, and dialogue should be used at times when dialogue is really necessary. If your scene feels a bit slow, it can help to instead describe what is happening in the scene in a light novel, or in a manga instead to show what is happening or have the character narrating over the top. This is a good way to essentially skip scenes that might be less exciting and then instead quickly get to the scenes that will be more interesting. That's a good way to speed up the pacing in your book and make sure that you're getting to the more exciting scenes a lot more quickly. My third tip is in dialogue writing, keep things simple. Remember that your characters don't always need to say everything and if your character is speaking, sometimes it's better to keep things more simplified rather than having your character say absolutely everything. Now, by this, I don't mean that your characters should constantly be saying um and ah uh, and saying things like that in their speech, but what I really mean is consider how people really talk and take out the ums and ahs and notice how when people talk, they usually simplify their words, they get more to the point. It may feel tempting in a character's dialogue to really add a lot of extra words or add a lot of flourish to your character's dialogue. However, not all characters will speak like that. Maybe some characters do, but not everyone will speak like that. And a good way to make your dialogue writing a lot more easier and make your dialogue feel a lot more natural is to simplify the words your characters are saying. My fourth tip is speak or record yourself saying the lines out loud. When we say lines out loud or record ourselves and then listen back to it, it's much easier to pick up where lines of dialogue feel off. If you just read the dialogue you've written in your mind, it's going to be harder to pick up on where it feels hard to say things. But if you actually say the dialogue out loud, you can more easily notice where certain words might feel hard to say, so that parts of the dialogue may feel very weird to say, and it just might overall not feel quite right at some points. When you notice that when you're reading your dialogue out loud, that's an easy way to pick up on the areas that need a little bit of fixing, and then when you fix those lines, it can make it feel more natural when you reread those lines and notice the difference when you are creating the dialogue. So if you ever feel stuck in your dialogue writing and you feel that something just doesn't seem quite right with what your character is saying, try reading the lines out loud and seeing if you could pick up where you might need to add a few changes or remove some lines or fix a few lines in order to make the dialogue feel a lot better in the long run. My fifth tip is show more rather than tell when it comes to dialogue writing. Consider that in some events in your book, it might be easier to show what a character is experiencing or show how a character is feeling rather than directly tell it. For example, instead of a character saying I'm sad or saying it in more words than that, your character might show it in a certain way. Maybe your character is more likely to become silent when they're sad or maybe your character is more likely to lash out at the other people around them when they're upset. Maybe your character changes the subject when a topic is brought up that they don't want to talk about. So instead of directly telling your audience what is going on and explaining that this character is sad or explaining what a certain character is going to, it can be more subtle to instead show how your characters react to certain events and by showing the way they react when certain topics are brought up or when they have to experience something, it's going to mean that your audience can feel more of a connection with your characters. Your audience will be able to learn how to pick up those subtleties when your character is feeling certain things and it's overall going to make the things your characters do say a lot more interesting and appealing. My sixth tip is put feeling into the dialogue. Try and associate every scene with a main feeling and consider how every character feels when they are talking. Our feelings can determine how we might respond to certain things in different situations and so this should apply in the scenes with your characters as well. When you're creating a scene, it might help if you look at all of the characters in your scene and consider what are each of these characters feeling at this moment. 
By considering the feelings, it can be much easier to put yourself in the place of your characters and think about what you would say if you were that character in that moment. My seventh tip is avoid info dumping in the dialogue. A quick way to improve the dialogue writing is to avoid info dumping in your dialogue. Info dumping is when you provide a lot of information all at once and it can feel a lot to handle to a lot of readers if you provide a lot of information through dialogue in one quick moment. Now I know it might be tempting to give a lot of context to your audience in one moment, however by giving that information too quickly to your audience, it can make it very hard for your audience to digest. In order to make that information easier for your audience to digest, it can be helpful to break that knowledge into smaller pieces. So through the dialogue, your characters can say smaller pieces of information that can help your readers to understand your world better, or you can simply show the information that you'll want your readers to understand. Whichever it is, make sure to avoid info dumping by providing a lot of information in a quick amount of time and instead ensure that you provide smaller pieces of information over longer periods of time through either your character's dialogue or through what you show in the story. The eighth tip is give your characters unique ways of speaking. Each character in your book should speak in a unique way. You should always consider how every character might speak, especially in different situations or to various people. For example, one of your characters might speak in a more polite tone, maybe they're really polite and well-mannered to every person they speak to. Another character might be more stubborn or sometimes a little bit angry in their dialogue. Another character might always be very friendly and upbeat in the way they speak. Another character might swear a lot in their dialogue and that might be something unique to that character. Maybe another character apologizes a lot in their dialogue and that can reveal something about that person's character. This can also apply if your character has a specific accent. Now, it may even be a special language in the world building of your book that your character might incorporate in their dialogue if they are from that particular place. My knife tip is consider the relationship of who the character is talking to. A character might speak very differently to a close friend or a family member than they would to their boss, for example. So it's important in every scene where you have a character saying certain lines of dialogue, it's important to think about who they are talking to in the scene and how their speech might change depending on who they are speaking with. Thank you so much for watching my video today, everyone. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please let me know in the question down below. Let me know what kind of dialogue you're creating in your stories because I'd really love to hear about it. Feel free to chat me on any of my social media and be nice cross because I always enjoy hearing about the projects that you're creating. Again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!